it's just been really difficult this last week trying to figure out the right words to say, how to keep him encouraged and, and help him feel loved. No one prepares you to parent a child through war. I mean, how, how could you prepare yourself for that? That's a question that Jennifer and Matthew Ruff of Ellicott City have been trying to answer for the past few weeks. They were in the final stages of adopting 16 year old Sasha, who lives in eastern Ukraine. He is the best kid. He is funny. He's goofy. He's silly and he attached so quickly to us. The rough said that they've been texting and video chatting with Sasha since the war started, and he's been giving them a grim look at what he and others have been dealing with. He's terrified and panicked, and he says, Mama, five, there's five, and he's showing the phone out the window trying to tell me that there were five shellings and that he just had experienced explosions. It's been overwhelming to try to figure out how to help, what the right steps are, uh, what steps to do, what steps not to do. Now, the Ruffs and others in the same situation are asking for help from lawmakers. They don't have a parent to, you know, tuck them in at night and hug them and hold them while they're crying and they're scared and they're hearing these bombs go off in the basements and the bomb shelters. Jill Krinzer is a spokeswoman for Host Orphans Worldwide. It's a nonprofit that runs a hosting program to pair Ukrainian orphans with American families. Right now, it's working to get kids out of those orphanages and into safer bordering countries. She said that they've been lobbying lawmakers to come up with a plan to help bring some of those orphans to the United States. We're looking to get like a B2 visa, which is like your visitor visa. What they come, it's the same visa they come to. Um, come with on the hosting program. So we're basically asking for the same thing so that we can um, essentially run a long-term hosting program for whatever length of time that looks like. The Ruff said that they've been in contact with Senator Chris Van Hollen's office, which has been providing support. They're hoping that other lawmakers support their efforts as well. They will continue to constantly check on Sasha as much as they can. A Ukrainian flag hangs on a tree in their front yard a symbol of their support and love for Sasha and his country. Your heart feels broken because you, you know, you have this responsibility. You also have this love and you want to do everything you can for these children. And you just, sometimes it feels like it's very hard. And the refs told me that Sasha is physically doing okay, but of course the war has taken an emotional toll on him. Reporting live in Baltimore, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.